Hey, what's up, Bobber Nation? It's Jim Bobbington, and today uh, I've never had to do this before, but I'm I'm going to have to rant a little bit about a product I recently picked up and purchased, uh, and part of that I'm going to have to return. Uh, so stay tuned. I'll be right back and tell you what's going on. All right, so recently I decided I needed to change up my foot pegs. Uh, I've been debating for quite a while on the Kyriak and Riot mini boards. Just really not sure if I'll like them or not, to be honest, uh, but I decided to go for it. Uh, they looked clean and they are the some of the only things I could find that have a matching uh, shift and brake peg. Um, for your toes and that that was something kind of a deal breaker. I had to have those matching toe pegs So I ordered these up on Amazon and they came in now The floorboards themselves are awesome uh, Really high quality in my opinion. They look great. The fit and finish is fantastic uh, Really happy with the way these look uh, the spline adapters are still on their way. They're taking quite a bit longer to ship. I got these in just three days, two, three days off Amazon. Uh, but as far as the mini riots, uh, really happy with the way those look and how they turned out. Uh, so then we, we come to the, the brake peg, shift and brake peg. There's, there is only one product number uh, for this particular purpose. Uh, so you, I ordered two, I just bit the bullet, and uh, again, with these, they are, they are high quality, and they look fantastic, pretty happy with those, but, but here's where it goes awry. Now, I don't know if this was laziness on the engineering side or cost cutting, they didn't want to manufacture two different parts, uh, but, and I should have known better. You order two, and you get the exact same two. Cool, you can flip the other one around for the brake peg, right? But now, uh, the one on your shift peg is shooting up and to the left. The one on the brake peg is shooting down and to the right. Um, so, the the angle of these match on the left side no problem but then you come over to the other side uh and they're opposite and it's driving me nuts i can't for the life of me figure out why kuriakin thought this was an okay move to sell a product designated as shift and brake peg but for anybody out there that is bothered by asymmetry or has to have everything matchy matchy this is going to be a no-go uh, I was pretty upset when I figured out that this is how these work out um, you could flip it upside down to make the the match but it's only designed for one side to be facing up and this bugs the crap out of me so Kuryakin, I don't know what you're doing, but this is unacceptable. Uh, if you design something that's supposed to be the same part for left and right sides, it better be asymmetrical. So it doesn't matter which way you rotate it, it's going to look the same. Um, but I can't, my OCD cannot handle these not matching. Um, and I'm going to have to send those back. I think I'm going to keep these, uh, but I need to find out figure out some other solution for the toe pegs. Uh, but this is more of an FYI to everybody out there uh, as to this is uh, how it comes out if you wanted to go down this route. I don't know who in their right mind would only want to put on the shift peg and then leave the brake peg stock. It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so yeah, disappointed in the forethought of the engineering of this product. Uh, everything looked awesome until I realized that those toe pegs just didn't match and it drives me nuts. Uh, so I will not be installing the toe pegs. 
and I'll have to find something else that matches well enough or looks good with these. Um, so stay tuned. We'll see what I come up with. But uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. This is Jim Bobbington, as always, reminding you, don't be a skid mark. We'll talk to you next time.